Welcome to another edition of Sledshot.com. Today we're showing some do's and don'ts for towing sleds out. Uh, being on snow, I guess, as much as all of us are, we've seen everything. Just about every different kind of technique for for towing uh, dead sleds. And uh, some of them work and some of them definitely don't. So we're going to go through a couple different techniques that work and a couple don'ts to think about next time you have a dead sled and you want to tow it out. One of my favorite techniques that you see pretty regularly uh, with a stuck sled is somebody will roll up with the tow rope, hook it up to your bumper, hook it to the back of their sled, and they say, game on. And although it works, it just causes so much unnecessary damage to your sled. We had a rental sled come back a few days ago at uh, somebody had decided to help tow somebody else with and it just they did the same on the back of it and just ripped the bumper right off the sled and caused all kinds of unnecessary damage. XP's and pretty much all the new sleds on the market have such a really the bumper is almost for looks maybe to grab and help you get on stock but it just doesn't have the structure that the old ones used to. So make sure this is not what you're doing. One of the other ones I've seen used a number of times, which always makes me laugh, but people do it, is through the tips of the skis, and then again back out, and hooked up to the sled, and as soon as there's weight on it, as you can see it tows the skis in, the person driving the sled can't steer at all, and it's just destroying your skis too, just bending them. So the biggest thing with this one is it doesn't give the, uh, the ability to the rider who's on the dead sled to steer it all, so it's super dangerous. Okay, so just gonna go over one of the new systems on the market. Um, kind of an old school idea with the new school, the ease of some cool contraptions here. This system's made by SteadyMate. Um, you can get it at pretty much any Ski-Doo dealer or any, any sled dealer at all. And uh, basically the setup is it goes through each A-arm on both sides like this, around the ski leg, clips in place, like so, through the latch, around the ski leg, there you go. Gives the leverage, pulls right from each ski leg, so it doesn't cause any damage. It's onto a really secure part of the sled, and it still allows the person who's on the sled riding it out to steer. Gives them control, and it gives them a nice center point to get towed from. One of the really cool ideas I've seen lately is if you have a snow bungee to incorporate that into the system. As if you've been towed before, it's super jerky. And if you're going through any types of ditches or whatever, it just causes the sled in front of you to just nuke their belt. So one of the cool ideas is to hook the snow bungee through the clasp and fix it, and then hook the snow bungee up to the sled who's towing. And that gives it some give when you hit bumps, you're going around corners and slowing down. You don't get the jerking motion from the person behind you and the person driving the sled that works. So just a neat idea, good little add-on if you have one. So thanks for tuning in to another edition of SledShot.com's Tech Tips. Today, with the SteadyMate device, towing out dead sleds, just shows you some do's and don'ts. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you out in the snow.